Okay, in this scene, we're going to talk about the SGLT2 inhibitors. And it's going to be represented by this soldier over here. Well, it's not a real soldier. It's a toy soldier. A soldier that's a toy. Soldier that's a toy for SGLT. And he's got a tutu on for SGLT2. So we're talking about the SGLT2 inhibitors over here. So we'll take a look at this soldier over here, and he's actually standing on the proximal convoluted tubule of this nephron over here, because that's where SGLT2 inhibitors work, at the proximal convoluted tubule, where they block reabsorption of glucose. And thus we have this soldier over here, blocking the reuptake of the candy, the candy representing glucose. And this allows them to travel through the nephron into the urine. What are the SGLT2 inhibitors? Well, let's take a look at this freezer over here. Because the frozen medications, or the frozen medications, are the SGLT2 inhibitors that we need to be aware of. Canagliflozin, dipagliflozin, and empagliflozin. How are we going to remember this? So we see over here the can in the freezer. The can that's frozen for canagliflozin. We also see over here this dirty bag dirty bag over here for dipagliflozin. And over here we see this guitar amp. The amp, the amp that's in the freezer for empagliflozin. So these are the SGLT2 inhibitors that we need to be aware of. We're gonna end off this video with the adverse effects of the SGLT2 inhibitors. And that's represented by what this soldier is saying over here. He's saying, how vug? I don't know what how vug means, but how vug is gonna help us remember the adverse effects of the SGLT2 inhibitors. What are these? H for hyperkalemia, O for orthostatic hypotension, which goes along with the dehydration, W for weight loss, V for vaginal yeast infections, U for UTIs, and G for glucosuria. Now because of the kidney problems that could potentially be involved, these drugs are not recommended if the kidney function is impaired. And just a final word, as a less high yield fact, is that canagliflozin has additional side effects that the other drugs don't always have. For example, limb amputation. And for that, you can imagine this limb over here coming out, for that canagliflozin is associated with limb amputation, as well as bone fracture and hypersensitivity. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this video on the SGLT2 inhibitors. Stay tuned for our next video in pharmacology.